Hey friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Today we are doing an Amazon must have favorites. It's just random things for the house, um, cl even clothes from Amazon. So let's get started. The first thing I wanted to share is this necklace. I wear it pretty often. I actually got it from my best friend Dee, but I saw in one of her videos that she did purchase this from Amazon and I just love it. It's a beautiful sterling silver necklace. It has two little circles. One is bigger than the other and I don't know, it's like our best friend. Um, like, I don't know, it's like our special necklace that we have together. So I'm really grateful for this gift and she said that the seller is from Amazon. So definitely check out the seller on Amazon. Like it, it's never like rusted or anything. It's a good quality necklace and um, it's great for every day. And I like um, the symbolism of a circle because I used to have one by this brand called Dog Eared and it was just one simple circle and it was like the karma circle. What you give out, you get back. And this is like the BFF karma circle, I guess. So I love it. And then, um, have you guys ever shopped on Amazon for clothes? Because I've done it so often for the boys. I used to buy like zip up pajamas, um, even like those zip up sleepers. And then I started buying underwear for myself on Amazon, bras on Amazon. And then I was looking through sweaters and I saw this sweater. I also have it in the all white and then the navy blue stripes, but that's actually in the dirty laundry. Um, but I wanted to share it. This is by, I guess a designer named Patty Boutique. She sells her clothes on Amazon. She has dresses, cardigans, but I like this sweater so much. Like it's a thick, excellent quality type of sweater. Like I'm just, I just also like the little buttons on it and I'm just shook. Amazon did a good job with their clothes. Like do not sleep on Amazon clothes because they're good. Like they're really good. Tell me if you guys have any links or recommendations as far as like clothes to buy on Amazon because I am always down. I even bought like pants and shorts. I buy everything on Amazon pretty much. So I recently went on a little staycation with my hubby, Justin, and we got this like massage and um, it was really nice. And then they gave a free sample of this water. I knew the water spray was going to be expensive because if it's at a spa, you know it's going to be stupid expensive. But I fell in love with the smell and it was just so relaxing. And I guess there's some nostalgia from having time away with my husband. It was really nice. So whenever I smell this, like it kind of brings me back to that little staycation with my hubby. That's why I bought it. <laughs> the first one, Amazon accidentally, well, I don't know if it was accident, like it was just not smart of them, but they actually shipped it in an envelope and it came like broken. So like all the product was like leaking. Um, we wrote to them and they sent one for free, like a replacement. I mean, of course they would. I mean, if it comes jacked up all squished, like I would hope that they would deliver in a box now, you know. So this is the Kirsten Florian Rehydrating Rolly Water. Oh my gosh, you guys. Water should not be this expensive. It's like legit 30 something dollars, but I promise you if you spray it on your body, like as like a body splash, it's subtle. Like it's something that's even nice for before bed. It's subtle, it's relaxing. You can spray your pillowcases or you can use it to rehydrate your skin or whatever but I don't even use it as rehydrating my skin. I just use it for the scent of it. Like it just smells really good, but I do have to share it is stupid expensive. It's $36. Like who spends money on freaking water? But it it's like a perfume body spray at the same time. Like very, very subtle body spray. Like you can barely smell it like when you're walking around. Okay, so I have a couple things that I purchased based off of my favorite YouTuber and I, I promise you she's my favorite, you guys. Like, I love her so much. Coffee Break with Danny. I watch her vlogs really religiously. I watch every single video she releases religiously. She is just the best. And so she's been mentioning Pistache. It's a lotion. It's called Pistache Skin Care. It has like this delicious pistachio scent. A little bit like um, Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom, but a lot um, cheaper. She's been talking about it and I was like, well, I don't really need to buy more lotion because I have my Boom Boom Cream, but then I'm so glad I bought it because this is so moisturizing. It just leaves my dry, crusty skin so soft and it smells 
incredible. I've only had it for a few weeks and I've really done some damage. Like, it smells so, so incredible. If you guys are familiar with the scent of like pistachio ice cream, if you ever like smell it, that's what it smells like. It, it's amazing. And then I also got the hand lotion because Danny mentioned it. It's the Pistache Skincare Pistachio Oil Hydrating Hand Cream. And this hand cream, it moisturizes your hands and everything, but it's not like it's not the type where you can't continue on with your day. Like you, you can still do things around the house and it's not like greasy, that feeling. And so both of these together, I really love. I also bought the scrub, like the body scrub. I have liked other body scrubs, but these are the two that I would recommend and they're available on Amazon. I don't even know where else you buy them. I know they're just available on Amazon because that's what Danny mentioned. And then the last Danny Amazon purchase that I um, recently got, it's not gonna be the last, you guys, whatever she mentions, I'm gonna get it. She mentioned this in a vlog. Um, this is the Susan Miller's Astrology Zone, the year ahead, 2019. I have honestly, <laughs> A love hate relationship with astrology I back like maybe 10 years ago like whatever my astrology said like my horoscope said I was like oh my gosh it's gonna happen like so if if my horoscope told me I was gonna have a bad day it was kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy like oh I'm gonna have a bad day so it's already a bad day you know things like that so you kind of just have to like be mature enough to know that sometimes things are accurate and sometimes things are not. 10 plus years ago, I was not mature enough to get it. Like I thought whatever my horoscope said, it was true. Even like the 17 magazine horoscope, whatever it said, I thought it was true. No, you can't live like that. Um, but I wanted to get this and I wanted to read it and it was really, really interesting. If if my horoscope is correct for 2019, I'm gonna have a bomb year. And I would like that, <laughs> I would love that. But one thing that really scared me, it said that we're gonna have a baby or move. I don't see that at all. Like Justin has a vasectomy, TMI. I mean, we've shared that before. I've had complications with my pregnancy. We can no longer have biological children. My hubby has a vasectomy, but sometimes things happen. There's accidental pregnancies. And I would hope my husband would never question that it wasn't his. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Anyways, yeah, but we're not we're not planning on having any more children. One day adoption, that's something that we've thought about, but I'm not even close to it. I'm not like three years close to the idea quite yet. I'm not five years close. My kid, like Jacob is still one. He's so young that I cannot fathom having more at the moment with everything that I do. You guys try having three channels and having two kids and having three cats and cooking and cleaning. Like it, I shouldn't even say that because I have friends that have like, six plus kids, but um, they still manage, <laughs> you know, but for me, like it's just too overwhelming. So I don't see myself having any more kids until maybe five years later. But of course they would be through adoption. Um, so the horoscope was kind of freaking me out. I'm like, don't you try and tell me I'm having more kids. No. Mm -hmm. And then also a move, like where are we moving to? Like we just bought this house like two years ago. I don't, I don't know where we're moving to. So those types of things, I kind of have to take it with a grain of salt. Um, and also it's really interesting because it gives you dates like, oh, this is a good date to sign a contract. I don't understand the whole Mercury retrograde, but it's just a fun read. So if you guys enjoy um, horoscopes and astrology and things like that, it's a fun read, but I'm not gonna just like read it and think everything's gonna happen because I don't wanna move and I don't want any more children in this year, to be honest. So if there's an accidental pregnancy that happens, a miracle baby that happens and Justin has, you know, his vasectomy, I will be grateful. You guys know I love babies, but we made it happen so that we are preventing a pregnancy because the doctor recommended I cannot have more kids. Like there were, there would be like, really bad, um, um, I don't even wanna get into it, but um, it would be very dangerous for me. Anyways, I went on a tangent, but another thing that I got on Amazon recently, a lot of my cookie sheets have gotten like rusty and just like really gross. So I needed more cookie sheets, new ones, because I love baking cookies. Like 
I love it so much. It is my passion to bake cookies. So I got the Rachel Ray nonstick, um, and it comes in a three pack, pretty affordable. I think it was under $30. And I like it because it's nonstick, like all the cookies just like slide off. But I noticed with a nonstick, you do have to decrease your temperature setting to about like five to 10 degrees. Um, nonstick for some reason, it's not as thick as my other cookie sheets. So, um, you just have to work with it through trial and error when you're baking cookies because you don't want like burnt cookies in the bottom, right? Uh, but definitely recommend. It's still sweater weather, so I thought I'd share this. This is a Remington um, like fabric shaver. Great for when you have like those little fuzzies on your sweater. Justin gets them all the time because he accidentally, like we do laundry together sometimes. I'll, like most of the time I do it, but sometimes he'll do it. And sometimes he'll put in sweaters that you're not really supposed to put mix in with other fabrics. And then it gets all the little fuzzies on it, right? So this has been really helpful, especially for his sweaters because he gets his sweaters jacked up. <laughs> and then recently my family, we all got sick, except for Jacob. Let's knock on wood that Jacob doesn't get sick because I don't know how he didn't get sick, but we all got like the flu and all these, like it was just really bad. Our entire family, we were sick and our old thermometer just wasn't working anymore. And so we got a new one. And so this one is really great. It's accurate. You just turn it on and then you um, put it on your forehead and then it gets the temperature. Definitely recommend it. And I think I have one more Amazon must have. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do this regularly. Every other month, once a month, once every three months, once every season. Let me know because I really do enjoy these types of videos. So the last thing it is really great for traveling. This is a, it's, it's, I like it because it's small and it's just, it's just the right size for me, but it's a traveling jewelry case. And um, I actually, I bought two, so I'm gonna give one away eventually in the future. Um, but I bought it a few months ago, and I, I honestly don't know where I put the other one, to be honest. But this is so fantastic because you can put rings in here, and then you can hang your necklaces in here and tuck it in so that it doesn't get tangled. And then you can put like your big chunkier types of things, like little bracelets or big um, jewelry hoops or anything like that right here. So definitely recommend. Amazon is just so amazing. There's just so many things you can buy on Amazon, but these are my current must-haves. If you guys are interested, I will link below my old Amazon must-haves. I believe I have two. So if you guys wanna watch that, I'll put a playlist down below. But definitely subscribe if you haven't, if you're new to my channel. I also have um, a vlog channel, April Justin TV. It's my family vlog, a cooking channel, Cook with April. And definitely follow me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram all the time and I promise you guys, I reply to like the majority of your comments on Instagram. So it's April Athena 7 if you guys wanna check it out. I love and appreciate you friends so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.